Hi, my name is John Hatch, and this is a fifth, sixth grade math lesson on data tables. And for this lesson, what you need is a math notebook, a pencil, and graph paper. If you don't have graph paper, you can just use your notebook, and that'll work just as well. But graph paper will make this a little bit neater. While you go get that, let's look at the standards for today. DSPB4, display and interpret data. DSPB4A, use dot plots, histograms, and box plots to display and interpret numerical data. A data table is made of columns and rows that intersect in cells. There is a header row that names the columns. The goal is to show information that makes sense to someone quickly. How many bags of popcorn were sold? Well, we have data here that tells us that there were 60, oh, I'm sorry, bags of popcorn sold each day. So the first day there were 62, the next day 65, then 58, 31, 64, 58, 66, 68, 56, 67, 68, and 51. So those, those are the numbers of bags of popcorn sold each day. Now, we make a table right here, and so we have bags over on the left column. Then we have a column for tallies, and then we have frequency. So in the first one, where it says 30 to 39 bags, we make a tally mark, and we write a one. On the second uh, row, it says 40 to 49, and there weren't any. So where it says frequency, we, we put a zero. For 50 to 59, we counted four of them. So there's four tally marks, and the frequency then is four. For 60 to 69, we counted seven, and so in the frequency, it says seven. So another thing you can do right after that is to graph it. And so on this first one, we showed one for 30 to 39. Next, for 40 to 49, there weren't any, so we don't put anything. Next, for 50 to 59, there were four. And the last one, 60 to 69, there are seven. Now there's a difference between a bar graph and the data table. So a bar graph is a graph that uses bars to compare data. Here's a histogram, which is what, what we're using in this uh, example for this graph, a graph that shows the frequency of data. So one is used to compare data, the bar graph, and the histogram is a graph that shows the frequency of data. So on this one, it shows the number of running backs that ran between zero and 249 yards, the number of running backs between 250 and 549 yards, and so on. Another difference is a bar graph is a graph that uses bars to compare data, and it has spaces in between. A histogram is a graph that shows the frequency of data, and it does not have spaces in between. A class was asked, how many texts were sent yesterday from your phone? And then we uh, write down all the data that the students give us. So going through this, I'll just go through quickly. There's a 12, 24, 42, 63, Wow, 84 texts in one day. 13, 25, 43, 65, 82, 10, 21, 47, 66, 83, 18, 28, 49, 68, 87, 16, 44, 62, 84, 52, 73, 89, 55, 66, 88, 42, 63, 81, 44, 64, 46, 68, and 72. So with our data table, we put those into groups. The first group on the is zero to 19. On the left side, you can see that the second group is 20 to 39. Then we have 40 to 59, 60 to 79, and then 80 to 99 texts in one day. Now we make a tally mark for each of those. So when we look for those numbers, we find that there are five uh, people that sent between zero and 19 texts. And in the frequency, we write the number five. Next, we're gonna check for 20 to 39 texts in one day. 
and we can see that there are four. The next row says from 40 to 59, and there were 10 people that sent 40 to 59 texts. The next one was 60 to 79 texts, and there were 11 people. And finally, 80 to 99 texts in one day, and there were eight. All right, next we can graph that. So where it says number of texts, we put that across the bottom and we label that number of texts. On the left side for the frequency, we have it from zero to 11. And the title of it is the number of texts students sent yesterday. So we graph this on the first column. We have five from 20 to 39. There are four from 40 to 59. Wow, there are 10. From 60 to 79, we can see that there are 11. And from 80 to 99, there are eight. Let's try this one together. How many songs are there on your phone? So we have uh, these numbers when we asked people in our class, 125, 289, 115, 203, 192, 178, 256, 248, 165, 233, 147, 209, 225, 184, 159, 201, 143, 125, 263, 210. Now, let's make a data table out of it. And the on the left side, it says 100 to 149, 150 to 199. Now, it starts off 200, what number would go next? And we can see that the range is by 50s. So we're gonna put 249, and in the bottom one, it's from 250 to 299. Now, let's come up with our tallies. There are five, and so we write that down on frequency. For 150 to 199, there are five in that one. And so over on our graph, we chart that. For the number of people that have 200 to 249, we came up with seven, and we show that on our graph. And then finally, people that have 250 to 299 songs, there are three, and so we put that on our, on our uh, graph. All right, now it's your turn. A data set contains ages ranging from six to 27, and it goes six, 11, nine, 13, 18, 15, 21, 15, 17, 24, 27, and 12. So let's make a data table, and then after that, let's make a graph. And for this, we're gonna give you two minutes. Good luck. All right, in the data table, for ages six to 10, we found two, so we make two tally marks, and for the frequency, we write two. On the graph, we uh, show that there's two. From 11 to 15, there are five. 
And so in our graph, we show from 11 to 15 that there are five. For 16 to 20, there are two. And so we show that on the graph. There's the two. For ages 21 to 25, there are two. And on the graph, there it is. Finally, 26 to 30, there is only one. And so we chart that one on the graph. All right, a data table is made of columns and rows that intersect in cells. There is a header, a header row that names the columns. The goal is to show information that makes sense to someone quickly. And so we've just done a lesson on data tables. Thank you for being a part of it. Hope you have a great day.